All right, so there was a comment in the previous video to this one about how they would like to see the tube swap, how it looked or how it turned out on the Atari Star Wars machine. So I figured, hey, I've only got pictures really, uh, a picture tutorial here of the process. So as you can see, I removed the original Amplifone monitor and installed a Wells Gardner K4900 monitor out of a Joust machine. There's the model of the tube that I used, and or the part number I should say. Uh, these are all just pictures of the internals of the Star Wars machine. All the deflection board and the power supply and the, uh, the high voltage board have all been rebuilt and uh, bulletproofed, if you will, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so I used a, uh, the 4900 tube out of uh, a full monitor and it had some joust burn in, as you can see here. And it was a perfect candidate because it was behind the tinted plexi, so you can't see the screen burn. And when it's actually running, it looks glorious. So you're about to see how it turned out. It just, I mean, it's, it, it was, it just blew my mind how awesome it turned out. It looks like a brand new monitor. It's just amazing. So at the end here, you'll of the video of the pictures here, you'll see a video of it in action. But basically, it, it is, I couldn't believe how well it looked. It looked brand new right from the factory. So the original Amplifone tube that was in here was just so dark and dim and dull. And you'll see here towards the end of the pictures, you'll uh, you'll see for yourself how bad it was. And yeah, if you watched the video prior to this one, you'll see also in a video form of really how bad it was as well. I forgot to get some before pictures, but it was just, it was just, uh, uh, it was hard to play the game because the blue was dead and I had to have it so bright in order to even see any of the image that it just, it, uh, it was blurry and it just had to be changed out. So here's the setup that I robbed the, the tube from that we just saw in action. And this is the yoke and the, the rings off of it because I had to put the original Amplifone uh, rings and yoke back on this tube, on the tube that I used, and this is the Amplifone tube with the 4900 yoke and ring set on it. And now it's back installed in the, the frame, ready to test. I, I tried to get this to work on the 4900, but it was just too far gone, as I explained in the, in the video prior to this one on the channel. So go back and watch that if you haven't seen that one. But it all ended up working, but the, yeah, there's some real bad phosphor burn there from when the, the monitor died. And you can see this is, this is after 10 minutes of being on. And with the light overhead light on it, you can't even see it. Obviously there the light's turned off. Uh, but it's just in any kind of environment where you have decent lighting, you won't even be able to see the picture. It's, it's just unplayable, unusable. And you know, like I say, this is after being on for a good long time, a, a decent amount of time. And it was just very dim and, and not... It, it was bad. It, it's going to go in the garbage tomorrow. As uh, my e-waste comes tomorrow, it's going to be gone. <laughs> so, this is trash. And now here's the video here. <laughs> 